Madame Butterfly is one of the greatest operas ever written, and Puccini is one of my personal favorite composers. And so coming back to it after eight years is so meaningful. The thing about Butterfly is that it's deeply moving for audience members because of the story, because of the music. Madame Butterfly had so many obstacles since its premiere in 1904. It was booed in La Scala. Can you imagine doing Madame Butterfly after Pearl Harbor in the 40s in America? And of course, after what happened here a couple of years ago uh, with racial tensions in this country, and specifically in Atlanta with the hate crimes against uh, Asian women, doing Madame Butterfly is now more important than ever because it's an opportunity to discuss this important issue of race, of how we treat other human beings. And uh, it's also a testament to this piece because there's a reason why this piece survived. And the reason is that underneath it all, it's deeply about the human condition. You know, the world has changed so much in the past three years and perspectives are new as you look at masterpieces like Madame Butterfly. And Madame Butterfly and many other operas are about different cultures, about what happens when cultures clash. Instead of shying away from it, we are choosing to hit it head on for example, we brought a wonderful cultural consultant and movement director, Kevin Suzuki, who helped us really think through all the tropes and the possible pitfalls that are associated with depicting a different culture, the Japanese culture, and being much more authentic. The way we cast this opera is very intentional. It will feature the debut of a wonderful Japanese soprano, Yasuko Sato, who sang this opera all over the world. The wonderful tenor, Gianluca Terranova, who is a familiar face, is an Atlanta favorite. And of course, the return of Naina Yoshida Nielsen, who sang Suzuki here last in 2014, but also sang it over 150 times. And the return of Craig Koklo, who's making his role debut as Sharpless. So it's a very exciting cast. And um, we're extremely lucky to welcome back Tim Myers, our conductor, who was last seen here in Sweeney Todd. And our job is just to make sure that the acting, the theater of it, the images complement what Puccini did. To get the audience to be seduced by the music. If we do our job, it's gonna be an unstoppable night.